Hey guys, um, I just wanted to show you how to get started uh, with a 3D model for your phone to design a 3D printed phone case. Um, so this is going to serve as kind of a getting started for that project as well as a brief reminder, a quick review of how to use some of these tools in our CAD software on Shape. Um, so I'm going to be working from a uh, iPhone 6 model, which um, I realize is probably a little outdated, but I've got an old phone. Uh, and so if you're working with an iPhone, it's pretty nice because Apple's got all of the technical specifications published. Um, you can do a quick uh, Google search for the accessory design guidelines for Apple or find the link in the uh, detailed assignment in the notes on Google Classroom. Now there's a lot more uh, information here than I might necessarily need for a very simple 3D printed phone case, but it's a good place to get started. It's definitely going to have all the dimensions that we need uh, to get started. So again, you can rotate your image around, you can zoom in and out to see some of these details. So for example, like this little uh, part of the technical drawing here has got overall dimension and width, um, excuse me, height and width of the iPhone, which is definitely something I'm going to need uh, to create my 3D model. Now my recommendation for you uh, to get started with this project is to not design your case directly, but to design a 3D model of your phone and use that to create a case around your phone. That's an easy way to get a good fit um, with your case and the actual phone that you're making your case for. Um, so to get started, here's uh, the on shape uh, document window. Um, if you guys remember, every uh, single one of our uh, designs starts with a sketch. So I'm going to click sketch up here. Um, I'm actually going to do my sketching in the front plane. So I'm going to click that front plane. And so you should see that selected here in the sketch window. And I'm going to click the cube over here to reorient my window to the front view. And so here I've got um, a place to start uh, with my design. So again, I'm going to start with the 3D model of the actual phone case. Um, and Typical bottom-up design for uh, well, pretty much any design is to start with the general shape, work your way um, into some of the details. And so the general shape of the front view of my phone, of course, is going to be a rectangle. Um, and so there's two options for rectangles, a corner rectangle or a center point rectangle. I'm going to select a center point rectangle because um, I want my rectangle to be centered at this origin. Um, if I you know, start working from this origin, uh, it makes it real easy to keep things lined up with respect to this origin. Um, so there's my rectangle. I'm not worrying about the dimensions when I'm making this rectangle because I'm going to specify the size of the sides of this rectangle um, now. Um, so you guys remember the dimension tool up here lets me set the size of uh, these different parts of my sketch, and so I'm going to start with this side here, and going back to my technical drawing, I can see that's 138.14, so let me type that in, and then I can set the dimension of this other side of the rectangle, um, which is 66.97, uh, so that's, that's the overall dimensions of this phone. Now, of course, the corners are rounded off, and that's something that's called a fillet, um, Figuring out what the radius of this circular corner is going to be is, is a little bit tricky. Um, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, right here. Um, you'll see uh, that there's a cross hatch here at this point, which is indicating what the center of the circular fillet is going to be. And it looks like the radius of that fillet needs to be 6.88. Um, those That's a little bit harder to measure directly if you don't have... Um, a technical drawing like that handy. Um, if, you, if that's the case, do your best estimate uh, what the uh, radius of that fillet is. But I'm going to go in here, um, add my fillet. I said 6.88. Looks good to me. Um, and I want to go through and do the same thing um, all the way around for each corner. I think those should, should match for this particular phone. Um, all right. So that right there is the basic profile of my phone. Um, now to make this a 3D model, uh, what I need to do is click that sketch and use the extrude tool to add a thickness to that sketch. Um, now, of course, let me go back to my drawing and figure out what that actual overall thickness uh, should be. Um, so that's going to be somewhere in this mess of drawings. All right, there we go. Product thickness. So 6.90 looks like the overall thickness of this particular phone. Um, so I'm going to click extrude. I'm going to, so it'll uh, extrude that uh, default. Make sure, make sure, make sure that you got solid selected here. Um, here we're creating a new part. 
Um, I'm actually going to choose a symmetric extrude, which is going to keep this, it's going to extrude in both directions and keep this centered around that origin point. Um, and I've already forgot my number, 6.9. And so I'm going to set the depth of that extrude to 6.9. And so that's starting to look like the 3D model of the phone. Um, now, I'm making a, a case for this phone. I want to make sure that my case has got, you know, space for the different peripherals, um, such as the home button and the cameras and microphones and audio jacks. If you've got an older phone that still has audio jacks, the charging ports, uh, flashes, cameras, all that kind of thing. And so... Um, what I would suggest doing is once you've got this basic 3D model is actually sketch out where those peripherals are on the surfaces of uh, the phone. And so for example, um, here is the front of my phone. Um, I'm going to click that front of the phone. I'm going to create a sketch on this front face of my uh, phone um, by clicking the sketch button, ske sketching directly on that face of what I just extruded. Um, and that way what I sketch is going to be attached to the front of the phone. So for example, if I'm looking at this front view, um, I've got this little home button, which is just going to be a circle. Um, so let me sketch that circle. And I'm not going to worry about too much like where exactly this is located, because I'm going to use dimensions to specify um, the exact size and location of this. But I do know it needs to be centered with the origin, so I'm going to center it along that axis. I'm going to go back to my drawing, and it looks like um, the center, if I'm looking at this dimension right here, the center of my home button should be 9.1 uh, millimeters away from the bottom edge. So I can use that now to uh, position this e exactly. So again, going back up using the dimension tool, select the center, select the edge here, and that's got to be 9.6 millimeters. Excuse me, 9.1. Let me double click and fix that. Um, again, looking for the size of this home button. Um, so we're looking for a lead that yeah, has some uh, diameter or uh, radius information. Looks like the diameter of that home button should be 10.9. Um, so let me go in there. Again, using that dimension tool, still got it selected. Um, and that should be 10.9. And so you can go through and do that for each of the peripherals that you want to make space for in your phone. Um, so looking at that now, yeah, uh, you'll see that that home button's actually on that front surface of the phone. Um, so for example, looking at the left side of my phone, I've got some buttons here. So the ringer switch. Um, let's go ahead and make that uh, ringer switch. Um, that's this little thing right here. And it looks kind of like an extended oval. I'm going to make a sketch. I'm going to select that uh, left side of my phone. Um, and now I can uh, sketch this guy out. So if I want to sketch the buttons on the side, um, I'm going to start with a uh, rectangle. Again, I made a sketch directly on this side of uh, my phone. Um, I'm going to make a rectangle. And a lot of these buttons, they got kind of this weird ovalish thing going on. Um, and what that really is in terms of the basic geometry that I've got to work with are uh, rectangles with um, circles at the tips of the rectangles, at either end of the rectangle. So I'm going to make two uh, center point circles uh, located at the midpoint of the sides of my rectangle that are the same width as um, uh, that rectangle. And if, if you want to, you can go in and use this trim tool uh, to remove some of these edges that we don't need um, to make the actual uh, oval-ish button. Um, so going back to my uh, guidelines, it looks like this um, uh, this uh, ringer switch is 5.61 uh, millimeters wide. So let me go in there and uh, specify that dimension. So that's the distance from here to here, um, 5.61. Um, of course, that's not where it's located. Now I need to go in and I'll give it some information uh, as to where that thing is located. It looks like the top of that uh, switch is 17.49 millimeters away from the top of my phone. And so I can go in and I can dimension that. So let me select the top of my phone, um, the top of this little button. Let me select the dimension tool first. And 
that's going to position that switch um, where I need it on my phone. Now, of course, looking at this phone design, um, there's a lot more buttons and cameras and peripherals that I would need to uh, make space for. I'm going to I'm going to stop there for the for this tutorial um, and to show you how to make uh, the actual case. So this is this is a 3D model of the phone. Let's talk about how to make the case. And it's pretty easy once you have a 3D model of the phone. I'm going to select this front um, surface here and I'm going to use the shell tool. Um, and that'll do just what it says. It'll create a thin shell around um, this, this face. So if I click that, I want to create a shell in this face here. Um, and the only caveat being um, the thickness and the direction are what I need, need to figure out here. Um, and if you, if you kind of notice what's going on, it made the shell inside of uh, this face of my phone. Of course, I want the shell to be on the outside of that face of my phone, so I'm going to switch the direction around. That'll make the shell on the outside. And um, I'm going to choose a thickness of one uh, millimeter. Works pretty well with the 3D printers. Hit the green check mark, and there. I've got a case for my phone. That should fit that uh, phone pretty tightly if I've got um, good, good dimensions. Now, I want to show you how to deal with the peripherals, because I've got that, like the switch here, um, and it's sketched kind of on the inside of the shell, because that's where my sketch was. Um, I need to make some space in my case uh, for this this button. And that's going to be pretty easy to do. I'm going to create a sketch on the side of my shell now. I'm going to create, say, a rectangular hole, and I can I can make that rectangular hole uh, big enough that uh, it's going to not cover up that switch. Um, and now I got a little more leeway with how I dimension this rectangle. I, I could dimension it, say, relative to um, the thing that I'm making space for, or I could dimension it from the sides. Let's say I want it to be um, two millimeters away uh, from the edge of the button here. So I can um, use the sketch I made for the button to actually uh, space this, this uh, what I'm going to essentially make into a cutout in my case. Um, and you, you can fancy things up. You can use the fillet tool to round off some of these corners. Um, Let me back up just a little bit. There we go. Um, so I can fill up these corners to make it rounded off and look a little more cleaner and uh, neater. And then what you can do, now that I've got this um, sketch around that peripheral that I want to access on my phone, I can use the extrude option um, that removes material. So I'm going to choose remove. I'm going to kind of rotate this around, and that should create a cutout in my phone case that'll let me access that, that peripheral. Uh, there's a couple of shortcuts here that might help you. The blind um, extrude will go in a certain depth. Uh, if you choose the up to face, I can actually select this inside face of my case, and that'll just extrude um, from one edge to the other edge. And if I hit the green check mark, now I got a little hole in my phone case that I can use to access um, the peripheral. And so you can do that for whatever um, other part of your phone that you need to uh, give access to. Um, so that, that's pretty much the uh, basic steps for designing a phone case um, that, fits, that fits your uh, phone specifically. So uh, good luck.